Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome back to New York City Concierge Explores. Today, we are not in New York City, but exploring the shoreline and the historic towns of Connecticut, where I'm going to be spending a few days with family, visiting, actually. But here we are in the beautiful, charming, and historic town of Guilford, Connecticut, a short distance from New York City, 80 miles um, off Interstate 95. It's a very quick, easy trip for a getaway, for a weekend, for a little escape. And Guilford, which was settled in 1639, um, hence the name from the original England, the, the original British settlers from Guildford, England, took the name uh, Guilford, has the third largest collection of historic homes in all of New England. For those of you watching from overseas, New England is the northeastern portion of the United States, which borders New York State, and contains the original five states of the United States and is the oldest defined region of the United States in New England because the, the name associated with the British settlers who came fleeing religious persecution at the time in 1620. Guilford was settled in 1639 and again I'm here in the middle of the town green which is a very typical design of New England villages and small towns and in back of me is the first congregational church which goes way back to 1641 and eventually the church was expanded to the structure that exists there in 1713. So today we're going to explore Guilford, Connecticut and some of the lovely historic homes that are located here. So stay with me dear friends and we'll be on a little tour of this very charming historic village of Guilford. Welcome back, dear friends, and here we still are in beautiful historic Guilford, Connecticut, viewing all the wonderful colonial homes, uh, pre-revolutionary, etc. And here is really the most important one, the Henry Whitfield House on Old Whitfield Street in Guilford is actually the oldest house in Connecticut and the oldest stone house in all of New England. It was built in 1639, just before the town of Guilford was settled by Henry Whitfield, a Puritan minister who fled England for religious freedom here. The house is made of solid stone and also served as a fortress to protect the community at one time. And in the late 1800s, the house was renovated and remodeled. And in 1899, the house became the first museum of the state of Connecticut and is listed, of course, on the National Historic Register of Historic Landmarks. So here we are in Guilford, Connecticut, and we're going to continue a little tour of this beautiful historic area and town. Thank you, dear friends. Connecticut shoreline and visiting these beautiful historic towns and historic homes. Let's not forget the seashore and the beautiful scenery of Long Island Sound, boating, kayaking, fishing, among many, many other water sports. 
as well as beautiful beaches to stop to have a picnic, uh, to have a little sun and surf while you're touring all of the beautiful history of the various towns. Here we are at the shoreline in the harbor of Guilford, Connecticut. I'm going to end our little tour today, dear friends of Guilford, Connecticut, at the Harbor Basin uh, adjacent to the shoreline. And in the distance there is a very, very popular restaurant called The Moorings, which actually one of the owners has the same name as me, except it's not me, it's a relation. But if you, if you happen to be visiting Guilford for a day trip or a weekend or spending a couple of days, I do suggest spending a lunch or a dinner at the Moorings restaurant, which is one of the most popular restaurants in the area. So thank you, dear friends. I hope you enjoyed the tour today of Guilford, Connecticut and the Connecticut shoreline and a little escape from New York City. Thank you. See you soon.